Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer Lee and I'm a project lead with Edgewater Technology. I've had the opportunity to work with SAP Business Planning Consolidations for more than five years now on the implementation side. And I'm here today to give you a brief demonstration on how SAP BPC can be used to collect and report on the annual process of budgeting. And what we will be going through today is some basic step-by-step -step interacting with the system loading some values in, sending them to the database, and then reporting back out on them. What we're going to do first off is kind of go through our basic interface here within the BPC product. There's a concept called the business process flow. What this is is a fully customizable way to take a user through an interaction with the system. In this case, we're going through our annual budgeting process. Here I have it set up with three steps. Each step is made up with some sub-steps. And really what this is meant to do is to take your user through their process and they don't then have to know where to go get such and such and have I completed everything. Everything is set up here in a step-by-step -step kind of a format for us to go through and understand where we are in the process and what's next. For example, I've already created, completed the first step here, which was to set up and get ready for my budgeting process. I'm on my second iteration for the year on my budget. So we've completed version one. It's been sent to management. They've come back with some changes. So we created a copy of our version one and are starting with our version two. I'm going to move on from here and I'm going to start modifying my expenses. I can launch my expense template. And from here, we'll go straight into our expenses. What this is doing now is it's taking us from our BPC on the web, which is where that business process flow is hosted, and taking us now into business planning consolidations for Excel. So as we can see, this has opened our basic Excel, but on our right is something additional. We have this concept of an action pane available to us. What this is going to do is be with us wherever we are in BPC to help us guide us to what we're looking at and what we can do, what tasks we can accomplish from based on where we are. At the top here is my current view, showing me where in my dimensionality I am at this present time. So my business process flow link has taken me straight into where I need to be based on what entity I'm responsible for, the time period I'm budgeting for, et cetera. So we can see all of our dimensions here. And I can actually open one if I wanted to have a look and see where I am. So I see that I'm in Italy. Italy rolls up to Europe in the hierarchy, Europe all the way up to my International Motors total top of the house. So I can actually see where I am, modify that if necessary, depending on what I'm doing within the system. Further down, I have the tasks available to me. And then finally, the available interfaces. So whatever interface I'm in at the moment, I can move back and forth between the other ones, whether it's any of the web components or the full office integration with PowerPoint and um, Microsoft Word. So then over here now on my expense template, we'll see that this is just an option. I wanted to give this as an option, a way one can build an input template to enter data into the system. For example, here we have some information pre-populated. I took a copy of my last version, so I have that as my starting point. So we have some information off to the right. On the left, I have my most current forecast to use. That's good for me to kind of see where I'm going to be coming at the end of this year so I can plan for next year. And I have the opportunity then to make some more modifications to this information. Management has come through and said, you know, this isn't going to be right. We need to make some more modifications here. So I'm going to go in and start making some changes. And supplies, for example, I know they're not going to be increasing by 5%. They're going to need to go up to 8 next year. I can actually go in and make that change right there. And what it'll do, it'll drive that data that's off to the right. We can see that there's a method that how it's driven that data off and split it between the months. And I was using fast growth as my previous method that was determined. And, you know, that was right for 2007. But because we're doing things different with our supplies next year, say I'm going to pick a new method. I'll pick the 445 method. Um, based on our manufacturing cycle. So I'm going to do that, and you'll see that now it's going to be spreading out that 8% increase now to the month based on this new methodology. Now, if I go back in here, I also have the opportunity of just changing my, my annual amount. So instead of 22000 for insurance, I just got a notification from the insurance company. It's going to be up to 25 next year, so I'm going to put that straight in. Um, I was using the even distribution last year. That's the way it's going to work for insurance for next year. I can leave that the same. Um, some of my other options are here are, for example, line item details. More and more organizations are asking for line item details for when they do variance analysis in the future. So we have the capability here of launching what we call a line item detail input sheet that not only allows us to input data values, so in this case inputting an amount straight in and a data point, but I also can put some alphanumeric contextual information in with that data point. So not only now do I have for variance analysis in the future, you literally just say, 
where I have this expense, I can see what that expense was. So I can actually enter a textual information here. I can enter amount in, in to the right month where I'm going to be spending it. And then from there, I can go back later and say, why are we off by a certain amount? Well, let's see what we budgeted, et cetera. So perhaps that travel never occurred, or perhaps that show was moved to another month so we can see why we might have variance in the future. I'm now taking that data, sending it to the database. What that means is that the data is getting sent back for real-time reporting available out to other users who have access to it, as well as it's doing currency translation. So I'm doing the budget for Italy right now, and because of that, so I entered in 10,000 euros. That will be translated back out to U.S. dollars for consolidated reporting as a U.S. organization. So I move back now to my expense template per se, and I can actually see now how my expenses spreading across. Everything is looking good. I can make any final modifications here that I see fit and just review everything, making sure that, that the information I have entered is the right information to send through. And from there, I'm going to actually go in and send this data now to the database. Once again, it's going to be doing the same calculations we were doing before, where it's taking the data ready time, real time back to this system and doing any calculations associated with this. So if you actually have some any back-end drivers, it would do any back-end driver calculations at that same moment as necessary.